Hello Commanders and welcome in part 8 of the Chilean Empire series. In the last part we saw how we are going to manage our resources and boost up our resources production. Today I'm going to speak in details the army build up I am following in this game. We already have the level 4 naval patrol aircrafts and the level 1 AWACS. On the land we have the multiple rocket launchers and also we have the mobile sum launchers. In the air we have the strike fighters level 4 and in the navies we are having the cruisers. So this is the units we are following. At the same time soon we are going to build the secret weapon labs and also we will do the research of the cruise missiles because the combo of naval patrol aircrafts plus cruise missiles is going to be deadly. I'm going to spread my naval patrol aircrafts all along the coasts of Chile for inspections, for patrolling and if any threats is going to arrive on our shows, uh, the naval patrol aircrafts, they are going to help us see it and prepare ourselves against imminent dangers. Meanwhile, I am going to prepare my armies and myself on the invasion of Mexico. So this is uh, the table, Germany is the first one with uh, 1000 points, I am the second. You see that I am in the middle of the European coalition who is leading this game. The Europeans they control all of Europe and also half of Africa. So this is bad news for us, our future is going to be very hard because we are going to meet with the Europeans anytime soon and it's going to be a fierce battle against us because it's either me going to win in solo or them is going to are going to win in a coalition uh, here i'm uh, uh, closing the panama canal there i'm going to mobilize my uh, armies there i have the provence the land provence that leads straight to the central of america at the same time i'm going to clo close the panama canal with my cruisers uh, later on I'm going to uh, try to uh, get closer to the coasts of Mexico. I have the level 1 cruisers but I have also the naval patrol aircrafts. We know that, uh, uh, we know that Mexico have better navy than me, he have more leveled up cruisers and destroyers but he doesn't have the naval patrol aircrafts, he doesn't have the frigates so in terms of power here our NPA they might get stronger. We have uh, level 1 uh, SAMs now, they are ready, also some uh, multiple rocket launches, they are going to be ready soon. And we are going to assemble our land stacks there for the invasion of Mexico. I hope no surprises there are going to happen anytime soon, I do not want uh, any um, problems here. I want to prepare myself for Mexico very good and start the invasion. This is Puerto Montt. I'm going to uh, level up the underground bunkers there for the morale because uh, I'm going to mobilize my um, national guards in that city but you know that national guards they are affected by the morale of that city so this is why I leveled up my bunkers to uh, level the morale of Puerto Montt so when my national guards when they are mobilized they will have full health. Okay, now this is the surprises that I did not want to see. We are under attack. The Chilean Empire is under attack and finally the European team has chosen to start their invasion on me. United Kingdom, he literally started his invasion from the farthest point up the south, my city of Puente Arenas. It is uh, my annexed component city, he took it down. I really did not see this invasion anytime soon because I really thought that the Europeans they are going to be busy in Africa, they finish Africa first and later they will look at me but here United Kingdom did not wait, United Kingdom is in a hurry, he is in rush and he sent his land armies to Puente Arenas. Okay now we are going to start assessing this situation, we are under attack their armies and their lands they are already in our continent uh, the first thing I think about is sending my navies to uh, United Kingdom to destroy all of his homeland cities I hope he doesn't have uh, better navy than me I have the level 1 cruisers and they hope they are enough to destroy his coastal cities meanwhile I am going to prepare my defenses I'm going to send my strike fighters to eliminate those uh, motorized infantries that are advancing to our homeland cities the good thing about strike fighters, they are good, strong and they are enough to kill those infantries at the same time. Now, I'm going to use my cruisers to um, 
spread them all along the Atlantic Ocean. Like that, I'm going to close all of the biggest intersections between Europe, Africa and me. And when they are going to send any random infantries or land troops through the ocean, my cruisers, they are going to intercept them and kill them and sink them in the bottom of the ocean. So this is the first steps we are going to do when we are under invasion. We secure our continent, we spread our navies to uh, at least we know where they are going to come from and also think about the offensive, this is why I sent a stack of 5 cruisers to their homeland cities. So it's a combination of defense and offensive because when we are going to play only defensive they are going to overwhelm us and have the time to mobilize, prepare their armies and send them to us. But when you are going to play defensive at the same time you send some uh, troops to their homeland cities, you are going to oblige them to play defensive because when they are going to see my cruisers coming for them, he will not think anymore about sending more armies to my uh, Chile, he will think about defending his country. Oh, main battle tanks. So, uh, United Kingdom is attacking us with motorized infantry level 5 and main battle tanks level 1 and also he have ships bombarding our coasts. When he did have the time to prepare all of this, looks like it's not now United Kingdom he chose to attack me. Looks like United Kingdom have been preparing for this invasion a while now. He uh, literally uh, hide, hidden his uh, armies in the shadows far far in the south. And now he started his invasions because you know he is attacking me with a lot of units. This means that he have been preparing them for a while now. Ok, the good thing that my stacks of strike fighters they are attacking them badly, I'm going to send my stacks of naval patrol aircrafts to that um, stack attacking me. It's a combination of uh, surface vessels and submarines. If it is a combination of submarines and frigates, that is going to be a problem for us because I am not going to be able to attack it with my MPA. In that case, I'm going to send my cruisers to attack it. The bad thing that I only have one cruiser defending my coasts. I sent everything. I sent everything to Europe. Another bad news. Look at this. Looks like Mexico is preparing his navies to attack us also. Look at that. We are detecting naval radars. They are Mexican naval radars. And 100% they are cruisers. And he is going to send them for us. Okay, it's getting a little bit tense, things are <laughs> turned over and uh, I'm starting to smell bad, bad smell here. Actually, because if the Europeans, they are going to attack us from the south and Mexico is going to attack us from the north, we are in a very bad situation. So guys, now it's your turn to help me here. We are in a bad situation. What should I do? Should I defend against the Europeans and leave? Um, Mexico B, well, how should I attack United Kingdom and how should I defend against them and what should I do if Mexico decides to attack me? I will read your commands guys, I'm waiting for your solutions, I'm waiting for your advices and let's win this together because we need to stick together and prepare the strategy to be able to survive this assault. More and more more and more British armies they are coming towards us. My strike fighters they are damaged, badly damaged and this is not the damage that uh, motorized infantry they are going to give us. 100% that those ships that are bombarding our airfield they are frigates. This is bad. Why this is bad? Because I'm not going to be able to use that airfield anymore. Also, I am not going to be able to use my naval patrol aircrafts because I'm going to be heavily damaged by those uh, frigates. Let's have a look at the lands of the United Kingdom. He annexed the city of Reykjavik of Iceland. We have level 2 naval base. Also, he annexed the city of Oslo. Stockholm 2. He have a lot of naval bases, guys. So guys, we are at the end of today's episode, we shall continue the defensive against the British Kingdom in the next episode. See you guys and bye bye.